What's up, Blender Savages? So here's the uh, quick and easy tutorial how to make uh, ripples here using dynamic paint. Make some waves. You see my cube right here acting like a boat? Just ripping through that mesh. Bam! Sound, sound effects not included. All right, so let me show you guys how to make this real quick. Let me start over. File new. General. Don't save that. All right, cool. All right, so here's my cube. So what I want to do is apply a property to the cube right over here in the physics tab. So I'll click on the physics tab, locate on the properties panel. Uh, this is going to be a brush. So dynamic paint. So dynamic paint. So paint, you're painting, right? So you need a brush and a canvas. And this will be my brush. This is going to paint on the canvas. So I'm going to click on dy dynamic paint there. Bam. All right, type. This is not the canvas. This is going to be doing the painting, not getting the paint on. So I'm going to change that over to brush. There we go. And I still need to add the brush. So I'm going to click on brush there. There we go. Leave that alone there. This is a quick and easy tutorial. Now I'm going to bring in a plane. Shift A. Mesh. Plane. There we go. There we have a plane. As for scale, pull the mouse away. I want to make it huge. This is going to be my water. I'm going to make it 15 times bigger. So after I hit S, I'm going to hit 1, 5, enter. There we go. I'm going to bring up my screencast keys here. In case you guys want to see what I'm doing. All right. Now, I'm going to take this to edit mode. So tab key, edit mode, taking the plane edit mode. And I'm going to add some cuts in here. So I'm going to right click it, subdivide, and open up the side divide menu down here on the lower left. Click in there. And then right here it says number of cuts. I'm going to change that to 100. The higher the number, the better. The better the ripples will appear. If um, your computer cannot handle 100, if you notice it starts lagging, go ahead and undo and try something smaller like 50. It's just less cuts. But the higher the number of cuts, the better. So I'm going to go with the 100. That seems to be a safe number over here. All right, tuck that away. There you go. I got that cut up. I'm going to take it over to uh, object mode. Tab key for object mode. There we go. Now this will be my canvas. And the reason I had all these cuts in here was because it's going to bend along those cuts. So where these cuts are at, these uh, this geometry, the vertices, the, the, um, the edges, that's where the wave will, uh, will bend. So I'm going to go over to dynamic paint. There we go. And I'm going to make that into the canvas. All right, canvas, add a canvas, add it in. Boom, add canvas. There we go. Um, the surface type is paint. That's to paint. I could use the cube here to paint on here. Uh, that's not what I want to do. I want to uh, create this into waves. So right here, surface type. I'm going to change that to waves. There we go. Looks like the Wi-Fi symbol. Waves, there we go. And Wi-Fi, that does travel in waves, doesn't it? Open borders. I'm going to activate that because when the ripples uh, appear, get created, if I don't activate it, the ripples are, are going to bounce off the edge and come back. I don't want that. I want them to just keep going out into infinity and beyond. All right. So activate open borders. There we go. All right. So I can already kind of see something there. Let me see. Let me select my cube. So there's like a hole right there. All right. So I'm going to start creating my animation. So I'm going to bring up the timeline panel here. Make sure I'm in frame one. I'm going to activate auto keying right here. Activate auto keying so it automatically um, records my movements here. So I'm going to pull up the cube back here along the x-axis. So G for grab, then X. And move the mouse to the left. Left click there. Boom. It recorded that movement there. So there's a keyframe for that. Now I'm going to go over to all the way to 250. I can click in 250 here. Or I can also use these buttons here. This is a first frame and last frame right here. All right. And now I'm in the last frame, I'll record the next uh, keyframe, the next key event, the next key moment here. I still have the plane, uh, sorry, the cube here selected. G, X, pull straight down, left click, and then just hit the play button and bam, we got waves. There we go. So the waves do look a little pixelated, they look kind of rough. So I'm going to smooth those out. I'm going to click here on the plane. Now I'm going to right click it, select shade smooth, smooth those bad boys out. Smooth, there we go. Smooth jazz. There we go. There you go. Easy as that. Dynamic paint waves in less than five minutes. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day.